What John Latham and Stephen Salter propose to do is use a fleet of futuristic cloud seeding yachts which atomize seawater and then spray this fine vapor into the clouds, making them denser and more reflective. If we can see the clouds on a global scale, uh, the uh, effect can be a major cooling that could compensate for global warming. Climate change and rising sea levels pose a huge threat. But could the oceans also provide a clue to a possible solution? John Latham spent his life with his head in the clouds, literally. As an atmospheric physicist, he understands how clouds form, but it was the way that breaking waves behave that gave him the inspiration for his big idea. What I've been looking at is, is the process of wave breaking, uh, the, the normal beautiful swoop and dive which actually pushes under the water a lot of air which then rises to the surface again as bubbles and that's the white stuff that we see when waves break and each one of those bubbles ejects hundreds or thousands of little droplets which happen to be about the size that we need for our experiments. So we have to find a way of generating uh, seawater droplets of the same size, but in much greater quantities. Scientists first began trying to manipulate clouds in 1946. They found that by firing tiny particles of silver iodide into rain-bearing clouds, they could induce rainfall. Stephen Salter has been working with clouds since the 1980s, but the challenge now for him and John Latham was to figure out how not to make it rain, but to increase cloud cover. Stephen Salter has designed a remarkable vessel. We've reproduced it here with computer graphics. It's designed to deliver the tiny droplets needed to boost the clouds. But it's a vessel that wouldn't produce any carbon emissions, emissions that are now thought highly likely to be worsening the very problem these scientists want to solve. It's an extraordinary wind-powered yacht, but with one rather obvious difference to a normal sailing boat. Now, no sails, but instead of that, we've got these three rotors, 20 meters yep. high, and they're gonna spin, which gives you a thrust vastly more than a sail would do. The Flettner rotor was originally invented by Anton Flettner a German engineer in the 1920s. The rotor spins round at high speed, performing the same function as sails, but 15 times more powerful, providing the forward thrust to drag a huge propeller through the water. This propeller is meant to drive the boat, okay? But in our project, it's gonna be the other way around. The boat is gonna be driven through the water by the sails, and in, instead of a propeller this size, we're gonna have one about three meters in diameter, it will be coming out to about here. And that will be being dragged through the water and it will generate the power that we need to work the spray mechanism. The boat would be radio controlled and unmanned, sailing backwards and forwards through the ocean, spraying seawater vapor into the clouds like a giant spray gun. 